It is Wellness Week at Pasco County High Schools, and today they're talking about texting and driving. According to the CDC, more than 3,300 people were killed last year due to distracted driving. Cameron Polam joins us live now from Gulf High School. Cameron, give us an idea of just how dangerous this is. It's extremely dangerous. According to the Motor Vehicle Department, you're 25% more likely to be involved in a car accident if you're texting while driving. And that's exactly what today's keynote speaker wants to put a stop to. The play practice was over at 7 p.m. So at 7.05, I got a phone call on my phone telling me, Dad, I'm leaving. I'm on my way home. Steve Angelo knows firsthand what tragedy looks like and how it's spelled. After 20 minutes, I started getting a little concerned that she wasn't home yet. I thought maybe she stopped for a bottle of water or saw one of her friends. If only that were the case, says Angelo. His daughter, Allie, was already dead, killed in a head-on collision by a driver sending a text message. Sorry to inform you that your daughter was killed. Today, he's encouraging students at Gulf High School not to make the same mistake, and most seem to be getting the message. It's just really heartbreaking hearing his story, and I don't want to have anyone in my family or anyone of anyone else's family have to go through something like that. I'm just going to put in my purse and put it in the back of the car. Students today aren't just signing a pledge to not text and drive. They're pledging to save lives. I don't have a daughter anymore. She's gone 17 forever. Okay, a lot of you people are the same age as she is. Don't do this to your parents. Here is the pledge that students have been signing all day. Nearly 800 of the total 1,191 students on campus have committed to stopping texting and driving. Live at Gulf High School today, I'm Cameron Polam, ABC Action News.